so you may be wondering, where the hell are you this time? And the answer, Bermuda. That's right. This behind me is a body of water called Harrington Sound. And this week, we're gonna be swimming the entire perimeter of it. That's right, 10 kilometers. It's a big boy. So up till now, the longest swim that I've ever done is five kilometers. That was last weekend. Before that, the longest swim I'd ever done is four kilometers in a pool. Before that, 3.8 in an Ironman. And so this is going to be a massive, a massive increase in volume in one swim, just one swim, but super pumped. Who am I here with? Well, you remember him, Chris Cooper, swimming extraordinaire from Manitoulin Island. It helps that you're so photogenic. It's tough to actually rope in people who are crazy enough to do these types of things. So once you find someone like that, you, you hold on to them. So anyways, he's here, he's gonna do it too. So you can see, we kind of get in uh, over there somewhere and it's gonna be a counterclockwise swim. So we come around here and we hug the shoreline. We go all the way out and around, blah, 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 all the way back that way. 10 kilometers and it is hot here. We just went for a run. That's why I'm kind of sweaty. Overall, just getting settled in and having a good time. So yeah, that's what we got on the agenda for this week. Let's do it. 10K swim, Bermuda, plus a lot of fun along the way. Let's go see what Chris is up to. There he is. This is our humble abode, the man cave. We couldn't dislodge the panties that are stuck in the, the uh, pull-out couch. We're leaving those there. So we're trying to clean up around here. We find these uh, things down here, and I thought maybe it was a shirt or something like that. But um, it, it's a, uh, it's ladies' underwear jammed into the mechanics of this uh, pull-out couch. Yo, that's nasty, dude. <laughs> I always take you to the nicest places. <laughs> Some tunes going, snack zone. Chris is in here bubbling away, making some rice. Gonna do some eggs. I get the couch, cause Chris is good to me like that. He's got the master suite. He's in here with this like extraordinary, look at that view. Damn boy. Look at that. That's okay. I don't mind slumming in. Oh yeah. There he goes. First swim. First dip into the ocean. So stoked. It's so nice here. There he goes. We never saw him again. How's that feel? The water looks clear, dude. Is it? Yeah, I know it's so salty. So we don't know if the tap water here is drinkable. Uh, it's rainwater and cisterns. So my guy here is, uh, oh look at that thing smoking, dude. It's gonna burn off. It's gonna burn off whatever's on there. Boiling the water, that's great. <laughs> I poured a little bit of tap water in here and I'm, I think I'm just gonna try it. It looks pretty clear. Google says it's safe to drink it, but we're, we, we, sure. we're just making sure. We found some sources that say that there's 80% E. coli and 66% Enterococcus in the water here, which is, that's a pretty concentrated solution, so we're being safe. In, big boy. Okay. Get him. How is it? That's nice. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll swim that way, kind of track around those buoys, yeah. and then go that way until we hit maybe, I don't know, what do you think, like 650, 700 meters? Yeah. And then come back. And then we'll come back. Do you want to come cut inside this island? Could look cool on the map. We could try. Yeah, I think it's worth a try. Yo, how are you finding this pace? I found it pretty good. It's good. It actually is way faster than I expected. Yeah, I know. Maybe because at the start, I definitely, definitely punched kicked. it a little bit. I saw that. Yeah. Get her kicking, boy. This is crazy, man. Oh, man, it goes back there. 
It's not very far, but oh, it's creepy. yeah, super creepy. We should try and stay close with each other. Right? Yeah, we should. Unless you care about. No, I don't care about that. I don't care about anything other than just. I just want to finish it. Yeah, but I think at that pace, if we can maintain that, or like something even similar to that. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, hundred percent. And then, I mean, in the end, if you feel good and you can go ahead, like I, I'm, okay. I, I don't care. Like you could do that. The key thing is gonna be not being like really uh, confident going out of the gate yep. and charging sure. because that's uh, that's where you could really run into trouble. You get in there? Yeah. That's so horrible, dude, to look at. Look, sometimes those little fish glisten. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I, I swear I saw something probably like, like this, like a few of them like this thing. Man, that's really upsetting. You hear that? Pretty maids all in a row. Oh yes, look at these. That'll do just fine. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna have my knees coming up on either side of you here. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Okay, you see the aquarium? Dream state looking through this thing, dude. You know what? I might go in. You know what? I might go in the water. And action. We finished up all the swimming for uh, the pre race uh, prep. Now we're doing some exploring, having a time. It's Chris's turn to drive the uh, the Twizzler, the Twizzy, the Twixie. Um, so he's out ripping. We begin some crazy weather, like tropical storm stuff. And uh, yeah, the, the ocean is massive right now. It's just crazy. So we're just going out on a little mission here to check some of this stuff out and see what we can find. Yo, guy had to back it in. <laughs> so we're out and about doing some exploring. There he is, a rare sighting. And uh, yeah, look at this. We've got some rain. As you can really tell. Tropical uh, storm uh, Felipe. Yes. Felipe. Making a making a comeback. Comeback kid. Bless. Muse. <laughs> Yo, dude, you want to go around this way? Check it out. No idea where we are. We're by the airport. It's a hard life being the star of the show, eh? Yeah. Is there another lagoon here? Lagucci. Yeah, it looks like it maybe has gators in it. You're okay. Yeah.
Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? We're not wearing the proper footwear for this kind of shit, dude. Hell, it smells like animal down here. Do you smell that? There's wind coming up from down there, too. Oh, are we gonna keep going? It smells like animals. Do you smell that? No, we're gonna get mauled by something. That's okay. There's dude, no. There's dude, no it goes so far back. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> There's so much wind coming in. So obviously there's an exit. Why does it smell like animals? I'm going in, dude. What's that cave movie? Oh god, The Descent? Yeah. That's, so a, fucking off that's a scary one, dude. I don't know, we're supposed to be in here. Do they? It looks, looks like it. You go one way, I'll go the other way. Okay. okay. So yeah, splitting up sounds like a good idea. I think caving is a dangerous thing, dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you smell that? The stalagmites and stalactites up here. I don't know which one's stalagmites. Stalactites. Is there an animal down here? It smells. It's like yeah. a full cavern, dude. Wow. Is, it, is this it? I think... No um, no you have to crawl. Yeah, fuck that. yeah no chance, dude. This is wild. Yeah, it's so warm in here. Um, there's not a ton of um, air movement down here, but probably we shouldn't really be down here, to be honest. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh. Yo. <laughs> can swim this. Can you actually? Oh, we fuck Whoa. yeah. That's so sick. Yo, how sketchy it is to swim this. Dude, look how deep it is, man. Oh my goodness. Dude, we're going swimming here. It's so deep, man. Can you swim? How fucking cold is it? Or it's hard work. It's probably warm, dude. Should we throw something in there just to make sure something doesn't look Oh man, this is kind of scary. Are these the caves? These are these are caves. I don't know. But if these they, aren't like the. We're going in, dude. We have to. This is like a wild experience. Did people do it? They must. I don't know. I'm assuming so. I don't assume that this is like ice, Iceland, right? Is the temperature's not like boiling water, is it? What does it taste like? It's salty. What's the worst that could happen? Jesus. Careful, it's slippery, dude. Yo, sick, dude. It looks great. Here we go. I'm going in. I'm a go do I'm the name I'm the corner that fight with the butter now I'm talking to you speak on my name I'm talking payback be her your gear okay now I'm telling you go that don I reach my don so she may I get you I guess we saw what we needed to see you playing this game you look at us see why that stuff you go to that side and keep your glass Starting to see them bringing out the buoys now for the race tomorrow. See that one way over there. It's getting real.
out there. You ready to rumble, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so let's go outside, have a little chat. Let's go. Wow, double lock. So, moments away from having to head down towards the race start. We've got a bit of a commute to get there. Not that far, it's kind of around that cove there. The swim course is set. We have a 10 kilometer swim to do this morning and uh, feeling pretty good. Definitely congested from all the swimming in the, in the ocean. It happens. As rest as I can be, I'm as nourished as I can be. Hydration electrolytes are all topped up. The tank is full, the stoke is very high. And uh, yeah, I think Chris and I are ready to rumble. So we're gonna be hopping out into that water. Swim 10 kilometers this morning and uh, should be pretty gnarly. It's, uh, it's race morning and uh, Chris was very adamant that we should match. Um, on our way to the race, so yeah, we're matching. You are 18, Chris. Thank you. Eric Nelson. Eric. And welcome, Eric. Yes. Number 55. Thank you. Well, welcome, Dan. You both. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Our Airbnb is way, way down there. So I wanted to take a minute and just run you through the race, give you a couple notes and um, a bit of feedback on how things went for the day. Overall, this was a really great experience and I'm really happy to share it with you. After a bunch of waiting, we were finally able to get in the water. They called us one by one. So we would hop into the water, took to the start line, the cannon went off and then we started swimming. After the first two kilometers, things got really choppy. We rounded this bend and we started to hit this crazy chop. Our average pace dropped pretty significantly. Um, the race we had started off with a pretty big group and we stuck with the first of the group for the first bit and then after that well things really broke up after we hit the chop and things really slowed down we also hit a bunch of jellyfish we were both getting stung it was pretty crazy i ended up actually putting my whole hand directly into a jellyfish at one point my hand went numb it was like the craziest thing there were multiple aid stations throughout the race so there were aid stations at two kilometers i think almost four kilometers again at six kilometers and then maybe one more before the end. At those aid stations, you were able to get Gatorade, water, try to rehydrate a little bit before getting back at it. It was pretty cool too, because there was a lot of things to look at. Like there were tropical fish everywhere. I saw a stingray. And then of course, there were so many jellyfish, like a lot of jellyfish. We went through intermittent chop throughout the course of the race. And it wasn't until getting close to the end that things started to feel a bit rough. For me, I have this issue where I take on a lot of water when I'm swimming. Like I literally, I don't know, my mouth is just open. I'm just taking in a ton of water. So I was swallowing so much salt water. And as part of that, I was getting so nauseous. And so um, in the last like two to three kilometers, I was extremely nauseous. I threw up a couple times in the water. It was pretty wild. Chris and I stuck together for most of the race, but it wasn't until the last couple kilometers when I was really struggling that Chris made a break for it. What happened was a couple swimmers came up from behind us. We swam with them for a little while and you could see that they were starting to push the pace. So they started swimming off hard off the front and he went with them. Um, so Chris finished a couple of minutes before me. This race was super well organized. It was a ton of fun. I highly, highly recommend doing this race if you like distance swimming. They do have multiple distances like 800 meters, two kilometers, four kilometers, six kilometers. You don't have to do the 10 kilometers if you don't want to. We hung out after the race, got some really great food afterwards. They had a, a post-race award ceremony where I actually won this backpack. Check it out. Now I didn't win it because of my performance. I won it just because we had traveled a long way and they were being generous. They gave me a backpack, which was pretty cool. We hung around after the race and it was great actually because we ended up having a beer with the event organizers helping them clean up and then they actually gave us a ride home which is amazing this is a great race it's super fun i highly highly recommend it you will have a ton of fun doing this race and i'm 
going to definitely do it again at some point in the future. Had a super fun time with Chris, had a great time doing this race. I love Bermuda, highly recommend it. And that's where we're gonna leave it for today, guys. So thanks so much for watching and uh, see you next time. This video is gonna be just a mishmash of random shit. That's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. No one's perfect. Yo, my mustache got to pop though.